Okay, it's recording now. Okay, good. Thank you. So, um, thank you all for taking the time to join us. So, as the usual reminder, we are subject to the ITF Note 12 that you are all familiar with already. Second thing is that we need a one minute taker. And if you haven't put your name on the blue sheet, please do so right now with a code dimly. That's in the chat. Uh, so we need a minute taker. Oh, sorry about that, uh, um, Olaf, I'll just uh, correct the date. Anyone uh, helping to take the minutes? I can help out. Okay, thank you. That Guran? Yes. Okay, thank you, Garen. So, um, I've seen most people are putting their names on the blue sheet. So good, we can proceed. So, uh, for the agenda, we have to, um, first thing is, um, we'll have to address uh, an update on the comments address for IESG review. So, um, DTLS of Arise, O of OT, OS Core Profile. So, um, can be. Yeah, I, I can take that. So, um, yeah. I, I, I saw some exchanges um, uh, recently. Uh, I think it's uh, regarding DTLS uh, Authorize. Um, I'm wondering uh, 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 what remains to be done uh, currently for that uh, for all these drafts. So, DTLS authorized. Do we have? Um, I think Olaf is here. Yes, and actually Steffi is listening in as well. Okay, good. <laughs> she has just um, submitted the new version of this draft, and um, this addresses all minor comments from the ISG review. And there are only one or two questions open um, to the reviewers where we need to see if there is anything left to be done. Okay. Um, the reviewers being, uh, I, I remember it was a Roman who had the most comment, is that? Um, so, so we had one question to Francesca, I remember. I'm not sure if this really was Roman, possibly. So maybe we can clarify that uh, right away. I I <laughs> would have to read the email because I have okay. no time. <laughs> yes, so, sorry, um, we just uh, okay. maybe <laughs> no, but maybe if we can move on and then I, during the meeting I will also look at the. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, come before the hour if I have uh, any. I didn't want to take you by surprise. Uh, it was just in case you had all the context in uh, in in mind and so on. So, but uh, so one question yeah, is for Frances Francesca, and um, the other question is for Roman or give me a minute to look that up. Okay. Okay.
Okay, there was one thing in Murray's review where he was wondering if we had to. Oh, there's this this part where where the the access token is updated and and replaced, and at some point we um, found that we, according to the to the framework document. Um, had 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 a uh, language in there that says that the new access token should replace previously issued access tokens, and we had a discussion about that. If you could, if if you know what you're doing, you could merge them as well, mm. and that's why there's a should and not a must. And and he wasn't he wasn't clear, or he he questioned if if this really should be a should. Okay. Okay, so mm, I don't see that as a very big deal. So what, and uh, so it's a uh, Francesca and Murray, and that's uh, the the remaining open points. Is that other? So. Okay. At, at least if if there's anything else, anything else, this would be a minor point. Okay. Um, and do you remember the question to Francesca? Um, actually, Francesca, you. Um, refer to a figure with the example of the raw public key and uh, mentioned that we that that the I think the the RPK should be in the access token, which was abbreviated in the example. So um, we didn't really understand the comment you, that that you had there. Okay, so it's a yeah, clarification. I'll take oh. a look and yeah. Yeah. Clarification of the comment. Yeah, I know. For me, it's the same. If I if I'm not working on something, uh, <laughs> I'm always surprised. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, it seems we're on good track for that document. Um, probably by the end of the week. Uh, I mean, the reason I'm asking that is that I want to um, to tell Ben uh, the status of uh, those um, comment being addressed by uh, comment raised by the IEG, IESG are being addressed so so that he can um, approve them further. But um, a question to you, Francesca, who is approving? I mean, when the ISG is raising some comments, um, then the authors uh, are trying to solve those, but who finally so says, yeah, they are addressed and fine? The responsible air director make sure okay. that all the comments are addressed. And just for your information, um, only the discuss comments uh, have to be addressed. And others are like good that they are addressed, but they're not blocking. So the air director could say mm -hmm. this is good enough and and move the document forward, um, uh, even if okay. it has outstanding non-discussed comments oh, okay right okay uh, so it's up to ben basically yeah okay <laughs> mm -hmm. so um all the documents uh, the next one is um the framework document so i see that uh for the authors Joran is here, but I had the only discuss on this document. Okay. So um, I can give the status update uh, because I, or Joran, yeah, yeah, do sure. you want to say something? No, I, I, I actually <laughs> wanted to say just that. But, but uh, I mean, there is one one of the, uh, so there is, there is the discuss, which you lifted. So now it's a no, no object ballot. And there are the feedback from, from Ludwig. And there is a one a single issue we should discuss at this meeting. Maybe you want to elaborate on that, Francesca. Yeah. So basically, I wanted to say that uh, thank you to the others to take my my comments, and I think that this is uh, um, like that the, the clarifications that were added are good enough for me to to um, to like not not discuss the document anymore, but there is a number of uh, comments that I think the working group should talk about. It would have been better if Ludwig was here as well, but 
Um, I don't know if you want to take it now or later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now. So, so um, I mean, right, I read no, your, okay. your comments. Um, I, I mean, it doesn't matter if we can, if we, I mean, maybe we can start and see how far we get and maybe Ludwig needs to chime in as well. I mean, he's not present and he's been doing most of the updates, so, so he should have a final say. But uh, if I understood right, there was one major comment about, about the combination of profiles. And was there other major comments you think we should talk about in this meeting? Yes. Okay. So maybe uh, you should. It's listen. not major, but I think. I, yeah. So I put the WebEx chat the um, um, link to the my email, and so let's see. The first one I think we should discuss is. Uh, it, it's not necessarily to discuss, but just to agree that uh, that either something is clarified or um, or not, <laughs> just to know what the working group wants to do with it. Um, the first one is for um, this one. Oh no, sorry, this is not the one. Um, so w one thing was that, uh, for example, everything that is byte string right now in the draft is expressed in base64, and I had a question about why, so I was suggesting to just change to hexadecimal C4 byte strings instead of base64. That is just a general comment up to you to take it or leave it. Um, yeah, I, I thought that was fine from my side, but th this is something that Ludwig should have a final say about. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh -huh. um, another thing that I was saying is that there is this very useful table figure A document that summarizes the uh, parameters that uh, that uh, are uh, can be part of the access information. And, and I thought that was great, and would be. I thought it would be great to have the same type of table for the acceptable parameters for the request. Um, and Ludwig, Ludwig was telling me that uh, this will become very long and include a lot of parameters that are not very useful. And this, to me, is one more reason to have this table. Then you can do the useful parameters for A's. Um, so. I'm, Looking forward to Ludwig's reply here. Yeah, I, 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 I understand both points of view. I don't have a strong opinion here, except that someone has to do the yeah. table, uh, which falls onto the authors, mm -hmm. of course. But yeah, yeah. so so let's. Lud Ludwig has been in. Key I just in wanted this, to so bring this up, even if yeah. we don't need, even if we don't, even if we don't need to discuss these points. I wanted to bring them up just to just to clarify. Uh, yep. It's fresh in my mind, so <laughs> that's good. Um, okay, this is just clarification. And yeah, and then the last point is this one about combining profiles. So this might require some discussion and people might have opinions here. Um, so there is this one paragraph in the document. This is 37, the email. Uh, there's this one paragraph uh, in, in the document that says, uh, there may be use cases where different profiles are combined. For example, MQTT TLS profile is used between client and resource server, and co-op TLS profile is used between client and AES. And I was sure I asked, and Ludwig is saying uh, exactly what the paragraph says. Um, and I am not sure of how this work works, or um, yeah, if 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 it's enough to just say you can combine profiles. Um, I mean, also like, what are the implications for implementers to mix and match different pro pro profiles for different, you know, between client and AS and client and resource server? Uh, it sounds like interoperability could not could like yeah it could not interoperate if you mix profiles and also you're getting different 
type of key material, for example, for the OSCO profile, how do you combine that with something else? So to me, this text is not clear enough of how it will work and, um, and yeah, I don't know if anybody has an opinion about that. So I, I, I think the question is whether we should clarify how to do that or uh, the current state is uh, saying basically um, we do not define it, but we don't prevent it to happen. No, the current state is, is um, it, it, I mean, if you remove the paragraph, then you will be in the status where what you said, that it, you don't prevent it and you don't define it. But this part kind of uh, uh, makes you think about it. How it, <coughs> It says that there may be a use case where profiles are combined, but it doesn't it doesn't say how this would work. So it's kind of to me that this is not enough text. So my question would be So either is it's this removed something, oh God, sorry, go ahead. Is this something where you would assume the the profiles to be prepared for this kind of interworking. So the MQTT profile tells you how it interworks with the DTLS profile. I can imagine that I'm having a hard time assuming a world where every profile must be prepared to interoperate with any other profile, including ones that haven't been defined yet. Uh, so which one is meant? Yeah. So, so I think that th this paragraph is just there because uh, the authors wanted to say the security of a profile must not depend on the assumption that the profile is used for all the different types of interactions. And by inter, I it meant uh, legs in the exchange. So it, it, between client and resource server, client and AES. Um, but I mean, to me, if you take uh, two different profiles that can interoperate and you make them interoperate, <laughs> to me, this could be part of the profile. So it, you're not really combining profile, you're rather defining a profile that um, that works in a certain way. Okay. So, um... So I, I don't have the text uh, in front of me, um, but um, you suggest you basically what Francesca suggests is that removing the sentence is not going to affect the draft. Is that correct? Um, well, like, I okay. So from from my previous. Uh, review and I, I don't know where this comes from, let's say. So I did not uh, uh, in this text was added. I don't I don't know why it was added or what use case it's trying to to cover. Um, but I think that right now this is bringing possibly bringing more issues than it's solving. Um, I think that the goal of this paragraph was to just add the security. The uh, consideration, but as it's written right now, it just to me it opens up a can of worms that we might not want to discuss in this document. So, um, I mean, you, I mean, your recommendation is to remove that sentence. Yes. Unless there is a strong reason to to, yeah, yeah. to have that type of functionality, in which case it is, my recommendation would be to, um, in that case, expand and make sure that we agree about what, what it is, this functionality. And, yeah, go ahead. Uh, just a question here. Um, do you want to mention the possibility of combining profiles or not? Uh, that would be my question. I agree that the definition of 
how that interoperability happens and how the other profile is made use of is on the profile that makes use of another profile. So if profile A is using profile B, they should describe how they use that profile and how it works together. And, um, and the main document, I don't think, can scale to explaining all interactions of different profiles. Could it say, though, profiles can be combined? However, the you know, that should be described on the respective profiles. Yeah, so the, the problem I had with this type of formulation is that, for example, in the appendix, we have this appendix about requirements on the profile. Requirements include to specify the communication between client and AS and communication and, and security between client communication security and RS, etc. So the one profile already specifies all the legs of the exchange. Um, so I, I might you be able to are... answer why that might be uh, happening because the MQTT profile is given as an example a lot. It's um, when we've uh, written the document, we've written from a perspective of HTTP and JSON, and then there were questions raised whether we could just use CoAP there. And that's perfectly fine as well. And CoAP and ACE can be used for those legs if you prefer it to use that way and get the uh, you know, client AS interaction using those protocols. So we didn't want to stop that from happening either. That's why they're there. Mm -hmm. Okay, but wouldn't it be easier to say define a new, new, new profile then use the up and I mean, how, if you're, in any if case, it's the same. The, yeah, in any case, the description in the MQTT TLS profile with the client AS is that with one way, you know, either we describe the HTTP JSON, but you know, using the co-app way as well, you can get the token from the AS and it's client's responsibility to be able to use that token in an MQTT conversation. So to me, it doesn't merit another profile because the way that we describe HTTP JSON interaction is very much following the ACE co-app uh, interaction as well. The same for the introspection as well. The introspection, if it's a co-op endpoint that the uh, broker needs to communicate to, and if it has means to talk co-op, then they could talk co-op, but we describe it for HTTP. And, and if they have means to talk either of these protocols, then what's, how 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 is the I think it's dependent the on the made, application then. developer's choice, right? I guess the we 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 didn't push down a must there that this profile must use HTTP, and that's why it opened the flexibility of using another set of protocols for those set of inter interactions, which we didn't feel like it affected the MQTT profile. Um, so if it is up to the broker to decide, then I think it's the application developer's choice, at least in my point of view. If there is a security issue with that, I am happy to take that on board. Okay, but the, the, to me, this is still not, a, a, I don't know, a combination of profiles in this case, a, a choice of, on, on what transport protocol, let's say, if it, if we call it, it isn't, transport, I agree to that. It's not an exact. Yeah, it's not an exact because combination. It, it, I, I mean, I agree uh, with that. Because an exact uh, combination profile, would be the problem. I have. Sure. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No. Uh, the the, the a, a profile is clearly um, defined by having a number of characteristics and requirements. Mm -hmm. And when I think of profile, I usually think of this appendix that uh, with everything that is. Uh, needs to be specified for that profile. So when we talk about combining profiles, to me, it's suddenly like, I'm not sure what that means, um, but I understand okay. what uh, the motivation okay, for point. this yeah, text I, could I, have been. Yeah. 
Okay, good point. I agree that a combination is not an exact combination that it describes how each leg is combined. And, you know, it's not a pure combination. It is taking some parts of another profile and then using another part of another profile. I, I, I see your point. Um, then I wouldn't mind the removal of the text if that is acceptable to the rest of the working group about combining profiles. If there is no other example that uh, can combine profiles. But in MQTC case, I, I, I accept the view that it's not an exact combination, it's just a choice of transport protocols. Yeah, and and maybe it's enough to just clarify that this is allowed and, and you know, um, I clarify what combined profiles means, um, which, I mean, the reason there is the, the next sentence in these paragraphs is, for example, so, so the, there's already some text that's aimed at giving an example, but yeah, maybe this is a very minor and uh, just requires some some text change for clarification, and that's it. We don't need to um, spend more time on it. I think uh, you're right that uh, the definition of a combination may vary across different people. And if the uh, if the profile is vague about that, that might confuse people what we mean by combine. If we don't understand the same thing from combine, which was obvious that we didn't <laughs> when we were discussing the MQTT case, then maybe it's uh, the removal of the sentence is better to avoid any confusion. Because the MQTT uh, draft already explains how different transport protocols can be used in different legs of communication yeah and that to me is not a combination of profiles it's like what the profile defines so that's one profile mqtt profile um but, so, so uh, uh, I, yeah i think we are in agreement here yeah so i, I have a comment first first of all francesca for, you're breaking up for me somehow so i i, I only heard you are the only one that I hear selectively. I don't know if that's on your side or, or on Maybe my side. Maybe you're too far uh, away. Perhaps. <laughs> and then I'm another thing. Breakups too. Okay, so we hear breakups of you, Francesca, for some reason. Um, then, then there are two. Uh, let's see now. There, it's not one sentence. There are three sentences in this highlighted text. And the first one is saying that there may be use cases where you combine profiles, and the other is an example. And the third is a normative statement about security for the profiles um, that they must not depend on the assumption. And I think it, it's this third sentence we have a problem with prob uh, probably um, because it might, uh, for, for, the, for what people has been saying here that uh, we, we cannot take into account non-existent profiles and security of combination with those in, in uh, and that's not possible to do I mean, when you design a profile. Is that my is that the correct understanding? Not, not completely. The, the the first sentence I also have a problem with um, because I don't. Um, I'm so not sure is, that different profiles ah, can be combined. Okay. As we're saying, with some right. Problems. So you need to elaborate. We need to elaborate on what is the meaning of combination. Yeah. So yeah, and, and it's. The, it's also somehow clear that I think yeah. someone else stated that someone needs to specify how this is combined. It's not just that you take one part of one profile and another part of another profile. That's that's his internal profile. Yeah. So yes. So yeah, it seems that um, the suggestion is that the combination is um, the clarification needs to be that in if profile A is uh, combining with another one it has to be specified in in profile a as opposed to having a generic combination mechanisms but but the yeah. problem is that you when specifying one profile you don't necessarily know all other profiles that at some point may start to exist and that, that's the reason why this paragraph or these three sentences are very important, that you must be aware of the fact that your profile can be combined in the future with other profiles. And it needs to, or the, the security will be affected if, if the combination is poorly done.
Okay. Well, I think we no, it, might I mean, spend one or two minutes and then we move to it, the I, other point. But go ahead, Francesca. Yeah, that. Um, I don't think that two profiles can just be combined without any uh, text specifying how they are combined. So if one profile, let's say profile A, and B is finder, and B wants to use something from A, B will have to define. Uh, yeah, what 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 Karsten is saying. Be prepared that some other profile may want to combine with you. Um, but it it I don't see it as there is two profiles defining in the, and they can be combined. I don't know how that that can be combined can happen. This combination needs to be specified somewhere and I'm fine if it's specified in a profile. Um, and that's maybe some text that could be added to this paragraph. And and yeah, and I just wanted to also say, I, I hope I'm not breaking up, that none of these comments are uh, blocked. So I we can uh, find a, a resolution for it, but if not, I'm also good with uh, moving the text forward. This is nothing major to me. Okay, good to know. So maybe we go to the next, um, the OS core profile. Yeah, so the OS core profile has been submitted and uh, all the comments were addressed and that that should be it. Normally, we are done with all the comments, so we're just waiting okay. for approval from Ben. Okay, so just a. Uh, okay, so you don't wait for a confirmation. I mean, do you have? Did you get a confirmation from the the AD that made the comments? I don't think so. I have the feeling I can just quickly check. Or uh, was it, I mean, if it's uh, just a neat. Um... It, it was, it wasn't anything major, but. Okay, good. Let me just check real Yeah, quick. yeah, that's all. I mean. Uh, we had one discuss, we had one discuss from Roman and he hasn't we have fixed it in the last version but he hasn't cleared it yet so it's okay um that's what that's the only one that we would need to get the answers from did you say roman or run roman as roman, a discuss okay. which we have okay yeah, we have answered it so it should lift okay. It now. Okay. Okay, good. So I think that's all for the ASG. Now, working group, let's go. Logan, you want to take that? So, for the working group, loss score for key group com, ACE, AFE, and um, ACMP co op, uh, I'm ending the uh, the law school for AIF, AIF and CMPV2. Um, and then I'll, I'll catch up on the review work to push it to um, uh, ESG because we are not receiving uh, any more comments on them, I think. And that's it, what? Daniel. On AIF, uh, yeah. there is still one outstanding <laughs> review. I think. Yes, from me. I think. Actually, so, from yeah. Christian. Oh. So, AIF, I think we have enough review to move that document forward. Um, yes, but, but <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I need to process that review and do a new version. Okay. Of the That's what I wanted oh. to say. I, I oh, okay, right. Oh, okay. Then we are not late. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So for ACE key group com um, CMPV2, uh, I, I think we we have one for or two C reviews. Yes, for CMPV2, it's going to be at the end of law school tomorrow. And um, I think we have sufficient uh, review for that one. Um, the problem I see is a key group com. So um, I'm wondering, Marco, if you you have anything to say if anyone is a uh, can commit to provide a review maybe not uh, this month uh, next month or um but currently we have um no review which um which is a problem <laughs> i can review it go on okay good thank you goran uh, daniel marco here i can mention i had an open point from the previous interim and yeah. I addressed him in well the editor's copy version of version 12 now on GitHub. Um, I submitted a couple of slides uh, for today, just in case you, you want to revise that with some context uh, brought up again. But it was basically about adding uh, a new appendix, uh, not affecting directly the document body, not affecting implementations uh, for future extensibility for possible future defined cozy algorithms with more capabilities. Um, I also opened a thread after the last interim on the mailing list to uh, raise the proposal again, even the possible two alternatives and uh, summarizing the problem. So uh, I had no objections uh, on the list either. And what you see in the editor's copy is the result of option two that seemed to be the, um, the best one. So. Also, for the sake of review, I suppose I uh, can submit that version 12. The only difference would be that little appendix. And at least it can be the one to consider for reviews. OK, right. good. Um, so please go ahead. Yeah. Um, the question I had is, um, because we have some um, interactions with core, uh, I'm wondering if some people in core, uh, should we, I mean, would, would it help if we copy the core working group to um to have more reviews uh, in general i think so because it involves rest a lot uh i imagine core to be even more helpful for the other document kigru como score but in short yes <laughs> okay so once you have the new version i i i think i, I mean uh, would it be better that you do that or me i don't care that um uh, copy uh the core working group to extend the number of reviews. I suppose whomever started the working group last call in the first place should probably continue on the thread, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> <Wasn't me. laughs> OK, so. Thank you. Let's do that. OK, so um, CMPV2, yeah. Um, I mean, we, we have two reviews, I guess, but um, more is better. Um, so if anyone is willing to to review that document, please go ahead. Then um, uh, MQTT TLS uh, profile. About the MQTT TLS profile, I am planning to submit another version which registers the media type now as JSON, and then we'll start the media registration uh, flow, basically, um, writing to that email for media type registrations. Um, I discussed this on um, the uh, mailing list with Francesca as well, who was raising the question why we needed it and shared some of uh, Jim's earlier comments on it. So we, I think we're going ahead with it. I haven't heard no from the rest of the working group. And that's the update. So a new version will be uh, pushed hopefully tonight and the registration will start. And we're okay. still waiting on the review from, a, we're still waiting the AD review. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the reasons uh, is that he was uh, uh, reading MQTT. <laughs> so, okay, so we are done for um, for those items. Now, um, ongoing work. 
Logan, do you want to take that? Yes. So, um, can the authors of uh, Co-op EAP, um, do they have any update for us? Hi. Uh, so the, then you have the, the presentation, yes. Yeah. So you have um, five minutes. Yes. OK, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about uh, last time. So this is this will be just uh, an update uh, with uh, the comment from Karsten. Thank you, by the way. Uh, we uh, restructured the, the, the flow following the HOAS uh, uh, philosophy. Uh, and we have there the, the, the new uh, way that we are uh, managing the, the resources from the uh, authentication uh, service. So we will be using uh, a general URI service uh, that it will be present in, in both entities that is represented by, for instance, slash B for uh, bootstrapping or authentication or however we, we want to refer to it. And uh, for each uh, step uh, of the authentication, we would, we would have a, a URI that is represented by uh, uh, slash uh, B slash X, where X is a random number that will represent the ongoing authentication process. And then slash uh, I, that would be a, a monotonic increasing number that will represent the current step uh, in the authentication process, uh, given that we are uh, dealing with a, a lockstep protocol. So this would uh, allow us to, to keep track of uh, the ordering guarantee that uh, IP is expecting without uh, needing an, an additional uh, option to, to do that. Uh, in the next slide, we can see the, the exchange. Can, can you this, uh, this slide for a second? Um, so, yes. <clears throat> um, you, you describe a way of, of using the URIs. Um, yes. Generally, it's the server that defines the URIs. Yes. Um, so, the, the, the server actually should be allowed to use any URI they want, mm -hmm. according to BCP 190, um, mm -hmm. except if there is some some semantics uh, on on that, and what I'm trying yeah. to find out uh, right now is um, which which uh, mechanisms in the client would actually rely on that number increasing. Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea is that we need to be able to keep track of the current. Uh, step uh, on the IP authentication. So to, yeah, when, when, to, when I buy something at Amazon, then uh -huh. then clearly I need to to specify the item and and fill in the the delivery mechanism and do my payment. And th th there are clearly several steps, but yes. th there is there is no requirement to number them one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm I'm so, just wondering whether we can relax this even more. I mean, this is a good example for how a yes. server would would uh, specify the the URI, um, but uh, maybe we can relax this and and just say um, each time we have a new state, uh, there is a location uh, location path in the uh, response that mm -hmm. gives the the URI for the new state. And it's mm -hmm. up to the server to make up that URI. And here's one way of doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, as long as long as, as both entities are able to understand that we if we uh, finished the current IP exchange, that that is uh, processed correctly. And uh, in the next step, the, the, which, uh, whichever value we have from the URI, both entities are able to understand that that belongs to the next uh, exchange. That that's enough. So I, 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 we we put that because we thought that was the the, the most uh, easy way of of, of uh, understanding the concept. But uh, you you are right. If if we are able to just uh, make sure that that's the the, the condition is met, I think uh, we, we can do 
we can do it in another way, relaxing the the, the requirement. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Ersten. So in the next step, uh, in the next slide, we have an example of, of this process, uh, the, the flow of, of operation. If you could Sorry. please... Uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel, can you please move on? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, okay. So in the next slide, uh, there is the exchange with the process. Though. So uh, for each exchange, uh, the server is creating a new uh, resource uh, that is uh, specified in the in the location path, as we just talked with but, uh, because of Karsten uh, uh, discussion. We may change that in the in the future. So, but but that's the idea. And uh, next, we only have a couple of. Uh, in the, in the next slide, we have a couple of uh, casuistic uh, cases where uh, we try to define what would happen if uh, some messages are lost uh, or retransmitted uh, due to these uh, changes in the, in the specification of the resources. So please, if, if you go to the next uh, slide, So uh, this would be the process uh, that we would uh, we would follow to so receive the IP payload. Uh, we send the context to the IP state machine. Uh, when we get the response from the IP state machine, then if everything goes okay, we generate the the new uh, resource that would be left for the specific uh, way we we, we would uh, generate it as. Uh, first and uh, uh, set, we may relax that in a way that we just make sure both entities are aware that this is the next step. And then we would uh, send back the, the new resource in the location path uh, response with the 2.01 uh, uh, created uh, code. So uh, in the next step, sorry, in the next uh, slide, forgot that one. Daniel, please. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is the case where where uh, maybe one uh, message is lost, and because we are uh, sending a created uh, message, if that uh, acknowledgement and response with the created message is lost, what would happen if we get uh, the previous message? So we understand that that would not go up to the application. The messaging layer, the, the Quab engine would take care of that and would understand that this is just a retransmission and, and send back the, the response, uh, the created one response again without any issues. Uh, just we wanted to, to put it there just in case uh, were any comments on that. And the, the last uh, slide, we have a casuistic of uh, what happens if a previous message is sent. Uh, it gets uh, in the in the network, and the the, the client sends again the, the message in the retransmission, and the first one arrives later. So uh, we understand that it could uh, uh, two things could happen. If this is managed by the co-op engine, and uh, it takes care of it, it recognizes that this is a previous message, and it would just send uh, a retransmission. Then the co-op client, since the conversation uh, continued uh, before that uh, last message got uh, in the way, it will recognize that it already got the, the response for the message and would just drop it. In case the message would go to the application, uh, the, the, the application would recognize that the resource was deleted and a new one was generated and an error of 4.04 code uh, will be sent. And in any case, we understand that the client will recognize that the conversation continued long after the, the first message that got lost uh, got back and it may also just drop it because the message ID uh, was received again. These are the two casuistics that we understand that 
may cause uh, doubt, and that's why we highlighted it here. And I think that uh, with this, if everyone agrees, we can just uh, update the, the draft to the next version and uh, continue with the development of the of the work. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so my, my response would be, I like this. Um, the the only caveat uh, I would uh, uh, issue is uh, make sure in your exposition uh, you always make clear whether you are describing your protocol or you uh -huh. are describing how CoAP is going to handle your messages. Um, uh, thank you. Because people are, are always misunderstanding whether a, a protocol that uses CoAP actually goes ahead and changes uh, CoAP as well. And that, yeah. that is certainly not the intention here. Sure, for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will... Then uh, if there aren't any comments. We understand that we can just update the, the draft with, with this new uh, characteristics. Thank you very much. Thank you. So next is uh, MQTT TLS profile. I think I talked about it. OK, good. Uh, but I think the nexus pops up and I can say that my progress on that has been slow. So there are no new updates um, from the previous uh, interim. Okay. Um, if there are no new updates. Just in the lead on that, seek them. No worries. I do have a clear path of implementation. It's just that I've been very busy <laughs> to implement it really and put it in words. Yeah, I can, can understand that. So, Marco, are you yes, ready for I the sprint? Think we, I think we covered exactly this before. Uh, this is what I meant. Okay. <laughs> so what so I say is on the next slide, actually, number three. But we, we cover that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But do you want to add something or? No, not really. It's on the okay. slide. <laughs> okay. So good. So I think we're done, Logan. Yes, I think we're done. And we actually finish five minutes before the end. Any general comment uh, from uh, anyone? No. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't feel bad against, uh, uh update or yeah for him to clear the yes. Yeah. Okay. So. I mean, um, for the ISG discussions, when it's um, done, feel free to ping me so that I can ping Ben um, and we don't waste uh, a few additional weeks. So, I mean, feel free to contact the, the chairs um, and tell that, yeah, we addressed everything. Okay, so on my side, I'm done. Um, I think we can adjourn the meeting. Yes, Thank you. Can. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.